Coach, you came here, Temple team that was 0-2 in the FBS. For the first time in school history, you get that victory. I mean, you told me on the field, but just put into words what it means to this program now. No, it, it's a tremendous accomplishment for our kids and our coaches in our school. Um, we told them to expect success this week. Um, they came out, they, they, they fought, you know, you know, came down to the, to the you know, last 10 seconds of the game, and, and we made a play when we needed to. And, I was just very proud of our kids and our coaches. And, you know, they told me more happy. I'm at a loss for words. I can't imagine how. Makes two of us. I mean, when so when you were leaving at halftime, yep. what was your message to your team? Um, the the, th the thing about at halftime when we went in the locker room was that uh, you know you would expect. Or at least maybe I was expected the kids would be jumping around, you know, all, all, all fired up, all excited, you know, bouncing off the walls because we, we had a lead over a, a BCS team. And they were just very calm, very reserved. You know, they, they you know, sat down in their lockers. Uh, we met as a coaching staff. We made the corrections. And we told them we were going to go out and do the same thing in the second half. And uh, it was 30 minutes for the rest of our lives, one play at a time. And, uh, you, know, I, they, you know, they went out and took care of business. Um, third quarter, we made that, that third quarterback change. It looked like the, like the tide had turned. Yeah. Um, how concerned were you that you, you felt it maybe slipping through your fingers? Very concerned. I mean, they, they, uh, our defense did a great job throughout the day, and our rally kid's a good quarterback. I mean, you could see why he was named the starter. I mean, he throws the ball very well, operates the system. You know, he even ran the ball a little bit on some scrambles and a design run on the last touchdown. So, uh, you know, yeah, they're, they're a good team. They're, they're well coached, you know, and they, they play hard and they got a good scheme. And, uh, you know, Rob's a good player. So, uh, we, um, and ultimately, we made one more play. And that, that was a, that was that. But speaking of that one more play, what was the original play call in that? I mean, a little, little <laughs> the original around. play call was four verticals. I mean, they, <laughs> I mean, we, we just need. It was 13 seconds left, and we need to get something down towards the end zone. And you know, Michael did kind of what he does, and you know, the play broke down. He scrambled around, and you know, as he's done throughout the season, and particularly this game, he found a way to make a play, and not just him. I mean, Sam, I mean, Sam made a, I don't even think he was thrown at the Sam, I think he was thrown at the Wetzel, and I think Sam I just think jumped up and grabbed the ball, so I'll tell you. Coach Carlton was another player that was so dominant for you today. Yeah. To have that guy as a senior leader, after everything he'd been, we went through at Hofstra and changing positions here, what does it mean to have a guy like that being your leader? Carlton, he's, he's a tremendous ambassador to the program, and uh, he's earned everything that he's got. And, uh, had a big day today, and, uh, you know, works his butt off, does the right things on and off the field. Uh, he's elected captain by his teammates for the second year. And, uh, I think he went for over 100 some today. And you know, he, you know, uh, we want to run football. I and mean, when you have guys like Carlton and Michael, and you know, you have, you have the ability to, you know, get the ball to our playmakers. I think obviously Carlton's where it all starts. So if we can run the ball with him, and we've done successfully, like we've done successfully with him. It's uh, you know, obviously very integral. But you, know, you wish you had 100 Carlton boots on the team. And Coach Mike Miranda hit a couple field goals there in this game, and of course the extra point that sealed it. After having Patrick Murray last year and uncertainty with Miranda, just talk about what he meant to your team today. Well, he, did a, he did a huge job. You know, um, made two field goals. I think both were from 40 or, or, or longer. And, uh, made the clutch extra point there at the end to seal it. So, you know, one of the big question marks, you know, coming into the season was how we're going to replace Patrick from a kicking and punting perspective. And they said we're going to take two guys to do the job of one. So. Uh, Teamwork works in this instance. Did you see Michael at all during that long delay between when you scored the touchdown and when you actually finally got the kick? Michael who? Michael Moreno, did you see him? You know, how was he handling? No, I didn't know. I don't know, I just, I don't know anything <laughs> about kicking. I just stay away from those guys. <laughs> kind of get in their zone and do what they do. So uh, I didn't want to. I, I had gone on about a couple of kickoffs in, in their depth during the game. So I don't. I just let those guys do what they do. I know it was nerve wracking for me up in the box. I can only imagine. Because <laughs> <laughs> it took, you know, there's probably like a five or six minute delay. I was more worried that the play was going to get reversed than I was about the extra point. I mean, he's, he's very consistent with his extra points, and he's got good accuracy. He doesn't have a huge like Patrick, but you know, he's he's solid from the from the distances that he's hit. So, you know, once it was not, once the ruling on the field was confirmed, I was pretty confident we were going to make the extra point. Very confident. confident. Coach, last week you were asked if that win over Villanova was the biggest in your head coaching history. Is this, would you yeah, consider this the biggest until, win? Until this, until this week, yeah. in, in your playing, in your football career, from Pee Wee's to college? 
I was actually part of our message last night to the team that, that you have an opportunity to make a, a memory that will last a lifetime. And, and as an ex-player and some of the ex-players ex, uh, in the room with the coaches, that there's only so many of them that you remember, one from high school, you know, one or two from college as a player, and one or two from uh, your coaching career. And this, this, uh, this one certainly tops the list. Anything else? Can you top this? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to enjoy it tonight. They're going to enjoy it through films tomorrow, and then we got a uh, you know, huge game for, for, for the Liberty Cup. And, you know, two things. Last week doesn't matter this week, and the season starts today. That's what we're going to tell the guys tomorrow. So all the good that we've done against, you know, URI and Villanova and, and Temple, you know, it's, it's not, I mean, the way we're going to get the playoffs is to, is to get in that large bit. We can't qualify as a Patriot League champion. So whether you trip over the first hurdle or the last hurdle, you still don't win the race. So uh, we've got to have singleness of purpose, and, you know, as we, as we get done watching this film and come out and prepare to be the you know, Columbia team that, that came out of the, the fourth quarter last year. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Oh, thanks. From that final drive, you pick up fourth down in the blue lines. You came from UConn for games like this. Just describe what that win meant to you tonight. Well, you know, it's it's big, you know, not only for me, but, you know, for this program and this team as well. I mean, you know, like you said, I, I came over here with Coach Moorhead with the, you know, with the intent of, you know, winning games like this. So, um, you know, being able to finally get that done and, you know, and, and really my first attempt at it, you know, it's huge. And, you know, I, I just, I'm kind of still speechless from the whole thing, but, uh, you know, it's, it's big for this program, and uh, you know, hopefully we can just keep things rolling. And I gotta ask you about that final drive because you know things got a little dicey there as you were rolling out. Were you looking for Wetzel originally, or what was that going on there? Well, I actually, as I was rolling, I saw Sam kind of just chilling at the goal line with the, with the guy you know stacked on top of him, and then out of the corner of my eye, I see Wetzel you know running the end line. So I said, hey, you know, I'm gonna throw this thing up, and either Sam's gonna make a great catch, or Wetzel will be right behind him with it. So you know, that's what I did. Um, you know, when I when I actually fell after the throw, I heard everybody start cheering. I was like, oh, he dropped it. Like, shit, the game's over. And then I just see Sam stick the ball up out of the, you know, from his back. So, I mean, it was, it was an incredible feeling and just an unbelievable play by Sam. And Mike, talk about your team's resilience. You're up 27 midway through the third quarter. Then your old rival, Connor Riley, comes into the game, leads his team back. What was the feeling about the squad at that point? Because all of a sudden Temple takes control. Did you guys ever lose confidence? And how tough was it to persevere when Temple did take the lead? Well, I don't know. You know, I can't speak for the defensive side, but I know for us offensively, you know, when, when Connor came in, I told him, hey, you know, they're going to start moving the ball here. Um, you know, with my my prior pass with with Connor and knowing how he plays, I knew they were going to they were going to move the ball and score. So, um, you know, as they as they once they took the lead, I said, you know, hey, we got to stick our feet in the ground here and uh, you know, get back to what we were doing, really grinding. The, you know, grinding away at, at their D-line, running the football, and throwing the football. So, um, you know, it's just a credit to to our guys, um, you know, as a whole in the offensive unit. You know, they just they didn't really care what the score was. They, they just wanted to keep going until uh, until that time right now. And to be 3 and out now, how do you take this win and then move on to the next game against Columbia? How do you remain focused in going towards the ultimate goal of making the playoffs? Well, we celebrate tonight, celebrate tomorrow morning, and then practice time tomorrow at, what is it, 5 o'clock, and we let it go. Um, and you know, once practice hits tomorrow, it's it's on to Columbia, and this game's over. With. So that's that's just been what we've been doing. That's what we did after the Villanova week. So um, I think that's a that's really something important about this team and, and how well we do that. It's just we, we celebrate for the time we have, but once it's over, it's over, and we move on. So um, it's it's big for for moving on towards the playoffs. Now, having played at UConn for a year and you know being an FBS player. Did you feel more comfortable in a game like this? Yeah, I felt more comfortable, uh, you know, just being in, like, the, the stadium and, and the environment of playing in a big stadium. You know, it, it wasn't anything anything new for me um, coming from UConn. Um, I will admit that it was a, it was a little bit of a wake-up call, and uh, I kind of forgot how hard they hit at this level. So, um, But really, other than that, uh, you know, I think it was – the, my uh, my past here at UConn, and I think that really helped me out with, with uh, you know, everything that I had to overcome throughout the game. So, yeah, were you trying to pass that on to your teammates, or they looking to you for advice? Yeah, throughout the week, you know, uh, you know, especially yesterday, once we got here and they were kind of hooling and on about the stadium, you know, that's when I kind of stepped in and I just you know, preached to them, hey, you know, this is another game. It doesn't matter if we're playing in a parking lot or if we're playing in you know, the Eagle Stadium. Um, you know, they're just another team that's standing in our way, and I preached that to the guys, and they really took it to heart today.
Finally, how bummed were you about the two-point conversion? I mean, you were selling it pretty good. You had the A-plus acting job, but the, uh, the uh, false start. Yeah, I was. we've been practicing that for two weeks now, and it sucks that we have it on tape, and we didn't even get to do it. So, uh, But it's it just kind of... It got loud, and CJ, obviously, a tiny guy, he has a small voice. <laughs> so no, nobody on the O-line could hear him, but, uh, you know, it, it kind of sucked that, that we didn't get to run that play. Mike, congratulations. Enjoy it. Best of luck going. Thank you. Appreciate it. Carlton, you've been here through the lows, through the highs. Just talk about what this win means for you after such an impressive game on the ground. You guys had a lead for most of this game, and then got check time in the fourth quarter. So just tell us what you're feeling right now. Like, I can't even, words can't even describe it. I mean... What we've been through, and just uh, uh, just what we've been through for the past like three years, you know, the season. There's just the adversity, man. The one in ten, one in six and five, and <laughs> hey, great guys like Audrey Warhead, man. Just his whole coaching staff. I mean, this this is just you can't you can't ask for anything else. Like this is this is what it's all about. Like, like this is what it's all about. Coming here, a chance to go three and zero against a team like Temple, and you know we do it. Coming off a big win last week against Nova, and we come in here. You know, underdogs again. You know, you know that's no hair on off, off our back. You know, it's, it's what we like to do. You know, we like being the underdogs. We're blue collar, and we come in here and then get the win. And it's just, it's awesome. I mean, you know, nobody respects us, and we like it that way. You know, but we definitely out, out to you know, earn some respect. And uh, you know, we came out, we played our house out today, and uh, just offensively, defensively, man, special teams, coach was great, play call, and just everything. It all, it all. It all meshed together, and then this is what happened. So we're, we're thrilled. I mean, it still it still hasn't hit me yet. I just can't believe it. It's like four seconds left, man. I can't. Man, and then and then when they went to the review, I'm like, oh man, we about to take it away. And that's you know, when it stood, I was like, oh, that's that's great. And then and also, you know, I just want to give a shout out to Miranda. Mike, everybody talks about him. Mike had a great game. Right? Coming, to, you know, replacing not like that hurt, but the game that he had. On the stage like this, coming through with field goals and a crunch time, like, nobody talks about that, but that's huge. So I want to give big ups to him, and this is a great team win. Now let's talk about your rushing performance, because Temple has some big boys in there on the trenches. You took a lot of blows. You got over 100 yards, over 2,000 for your career now. So just talk about how difficult it was going up against such a big front. Right. It's, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, anytime, you know, we talk about a, a team with the amount of depth that Temple has, or, you know, D1A, uh, they have more bodies, so you know, they rotate. Uh, they get, you know, good steady rotation in there. Probably like, you know, seven, maybe eight guys, maybe nine. Who knows? But it's definitely a challenge. But uh, I think that our line was up to that challenge. Uh, they were pushing guys off the ball. We got great movement. Um, you know, of course, it wasn't like that. Uh, you know, every play, but you know, just about you know the whole game. I think they were pretty dominant, and uh, we were able to do that. And uh, you know, we were able, we were able to uh, you know use the run game and utilize it to our advantage. And, you know, we needed to run the ball at crucial times, you know, we were able to do that, so I'm just so happy. And uh, once again, I mean, that's, you know, once again, just the, just the it, all, it all comes down to execution, man. I mean, it's what we practice all week. You know, like the coach told him, hey, like, guys are going to be screaming, screaming downfield, receivers, tight ends, and, uh, you know, running backs, the running backs that we have, and, you know, quarterback-wise, just the athletes we have. I mean, he put it on, he put it on those guys. And, you know, guys like, you know, uh, shoot, he's there by. So, yeah, I mean, all those guys were up to the challenge. And, uh, you know, they didn't shy away from it. So, I mean, once again, I'm just, I'm just so happy. It's happening. I got to ask you about Ajala's catch. Where were you on the field? What was going through your mind when Mike left that one fly into the end zone? Yo, what was going through my mind, I'm like, because it was, I guess we were going to scramble, we were going to out the pocket to his right. So, all right, so I was just trying to get in phase with him. And I'm like, Dag, and I'm, I'm also thinking about the clock. So I'm like, Dag, I know it's under 10 seconds. And I'm like, oh, man. So when he threw it, I'm like, oh, this is it. I'm like, I'm just thinking to myself, oh, this is it, this is it. So I'm just turning, turn, and I saw Sam, and then I saw Wessel too, because Wessel was in the back too. I'm thinking Wessel gonna catch the ball, because he went up for it, you know, he was gonna cradle it, and then I just saw Sam just falling back like that, he just plucked it out of the air, and he came down with it, and I was like, oh, you caught it. <laughs> and I just went down there, and I was, just, I was like, oh, you caught it, you caught it, you caught it, you caught it. I was like, man, yo, you, you caught the ball, and I was just like, man, I was, it was, it was pretty much just like do or die. At that point, I'm like, all right, man, this is it. He just hoisted it in there. And, you know, thankfully, I mean, you know, if, hey, if he didn't catch it, I think Wesson would have caught it. But, hey, I mean, shoot, Sam came down with it. So it doesn't matter. I mean, he catches it. Shoot, anybody catch it. I don't care, man. Somebody caught it, it was Sam. So I was happy. I was, I was, I was just going to be like, dang, man, we won like that. That's, that's, that's awesome. That's now, you told me last week that you're always going to – you always try and go out and prove people wrong. Yeah. So having a great game like you did against a good, strong, FBS opponent – uh, do you, does it feel any, you know, is it an extra boost for you? 
definitely extra boost. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's the part of me that, uh, that you know, keeps, keeps my fuel going. But definitely extra boost. And, you know, the thing about it is that, you know, I mean, I didn't play my best game. You know, receivers didn't play their best game. Like, we all didn't play our best game uh, to our standards. And yet, you know, we still came out and beat a team like Temple. So, that's that, you know, that's the thing. I mean, I came out here. I uh, definitely have some things to improve on. But overall, uh, I'm very, very, very pleased with, uh, you know, how I played and how we all played. So uh, I definitely, uh, you know, definitely kind of ice on the cake a little bit. Anytime we talk about that, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, guys, guys, you know, come to, come to the light and see that hey, you know, we can compete with anybody in, in the country. It doesn't matter. I mean, this game, I mean, a lot of a lot of guys are from like Jersey, you know, tri-state area. So you know, they didn't want you. you now we're here, so we're out to prove, prove people wrong. You know, especially in the post too. So you know, nobody respects us. So that's how we like it once again. So. Being from South Jersey, did you have a lot of friends and family in the stands? Oh yeah, I had about 30 plus in there. Uh, definitely a couple of nice surprises. I was not wasn't expecting to see some some people in, some people out there in the stands. So got a couple of add-ons today. So it, it was great to see. Great to see. I love the support. Uh, you know, and I love this game. All right, so you know, any time people come out there and support, it's just it just adds adds more fuel to it and uh, you know gets my energy going. So it was, it was a good feeling. Carlton, congratulations and enjoy the win. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Thank you.